In this tutorial, you will see how to create a validation check. Select the study and within Study Configuration, click Validation Checks. Select the data model where you wish to create the validation check using the pane on the left. Validation checks are executed in batches. Before you create a validation check, you must create a batch for it. Fill in the name and the description. Batch names appear in the Validation Checks listings pane for the data reviewers. Make the batch name meaningful and group validation checks in batches in a way that helps data reviewers. If you leave Ordered Execution deselected, the validation checks will run in parallel. Select Can be triggered to automatically run the validation check whenever data is updated. Click OK. With the batch still checked out, click Create Validation Check. In the Source pane, expand the node for the table or tables whose data you want to display in the Validation Checks listings page. Select Columns or Tables and click the Add to Select Statement icon. Enter a name for the validation check. Describe the action required. The text is sent back to the data source if the validation rule is triggered. The discrepancy text can now include more contextual messages through the dynamic replacement of embedded substitution variables with values from data points. Select a category. The validation check associates this category to each discrepancy it creates. When viewing discrepancies later, you can filter them by the category selected here. You can also select an initial discrepancy action, which the validation check performs immediately on any new discrepancies. Select a state to be applied to discrepancies created by this validation check, Open or Candidate. Use Candidate if you want a manual review to be performed before the discrepancies are set to Open. The Authorize option is available only if at least one source table contains blinded data and if you have the appropriate privileges. You should only select it if you are sure that only non-blinded columns will be displayed. If you do not select this option and one of the source tables is blinded, the whole listing will be blinded. Select Allow Auto Close if you want the validation check to close discrepancies it has created when the data has been corrected. If not selected, running the check again will change the discrepancies state to Answered. They can be closed after manual review. You must designate one data item as the one against which discrepancies are created. If the validation check logic processes two or more data items, select one of them. Navigate to the Criteria tab and click Add or Modify Criteria. In this example, we are creating a validation check that will return a selection of subjects where the pregnancy test result is missing. To check if the expression is valid, click Validate. Click Save. Click OK to create the validation check. Install the batch. Before you can review the listing of the validation check in the Data Management Listings page, you must run the validation check batch from the home page in the Validation Checks tab.